Now, we've been building up to this all week. I'm sitting here right now in Cairo, but just some 40 kilometers away, a new administrative capital is being built. $30 billion plus it's being spent on this piece of project, this piece of land, Nancy. And of course, I had the chance to go right inside and check it out. Let's listen in. The pyramids, the Sphinx, the Suez Canal. When it comes to mega projects, Egypt's been getting it done for centuries. Now the latest, a multi-billion dollar development on the outskirts of Cairo, promises Egyptians a better life and a better city, but for a price. It's a new capital city carved out of the desert and directly in line with President Sisi's new economic vision for Egypt. This is a place that will boast, in the end, greenways that are bigger than Central Park. The project's first phase, set for completion in 2019, boasts 36 government ministries, residential communities, and the biggest cathedral on the continent of Africa. So when you first heard about this project, did you think, this is crazy, it can't be done? Yeah, yeah, it's completely right. Uh, yeah. with, with, uh, with this huge space, we, we are talking about a new capital. Uh, the, the total space, more than 175,000 acres. Uh, I mean, it, it will be double of Cairo. Home to over 22 million people, the current capital city is plagued by overcrowding, pollution, and seemingly endless traffic jams. The new capital promises all the benefits of a smart city electric powered mass transport and wireless connectivity. You have apartments, you have separate villas. Exactly. Uh, the, and this is uh, what we call it residential three. Or three. We have, the, for the first phase, we have eight re residential districts. Okay. Okay. For example, this district contains uh, 25,000 uh, residential units. 25,000? Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's a lot of people. Yes. As I told you, we intend to move one million and a half for the first phase. Okay, talk to me about the price points. Uh, price, I think it's reasonable. While ministers and much of their staff are already making plans for the move, with a basic apartment starting at 57,000 U.S. dollars, that leaves the majority of Egyptians priced out. You know, Nancy, as much as I love being at home in Abu Dhabi, I have to say, getting out, really getting to see the engines of growth on yeah. the move is always really exciting. And certainly, as I've said before, you know, here in Egypt, after years of a sluggish growth and worries about the economy, mm. I'm finally starting to see those wheels beginning to turn. And of course, I do want to mention in terms of how they're paying for this, they've set up a company, yeah. essentially, the ACUD. This is 51% uh, of the military and some 49% the housing and urban development ministry. So it's actually quite interesting. You know, we keep asking folks, you know, how much are you going to be spending on this? Initial estimates were some 30 plus billion dollars. And we're really being told there's still no budget here because, you know, they want the civilian corporations to get involved here. There are no yep. military companies working on developing this project in terms of the construction. It's all civilian companies. And, of course, the Chinese are getting involved as well. Yes, yeah, certainly. I'm sure they would like to see more foreign investment to help really carry some of the burden of these costs. But, Hadley, I have to wonder what the people in Egypt think about this. I mean, in your package, you talk about the fact that the government's promising to make lives easier, whether it's the smart city or less congestion. That's something all people welcome. But it's also coming at a time when many people in Egypt have been asked to take on painful austerity measures. Are they looking at this and thinking, whoa, this is a lot of money going towards this project? I definitely, Nancy, and I think that there's, a, there's signs of this on both sides of the equation, but I think it's really interesting when you speak to Egyptians, you know, these massive infrastructure projects like this administrative capital, like all of these new roads that are crisscrossing the country, you know, the president announces he's going to do something like this, but then he doesn't really follow up, and then suddenly, two years later, you see the results of all of the work that he seems to have been doing behind the scenes. So there is support for President Sisi's plans here, but as you say, they do come at a cost for everyday Egyptians. Wow, well, it's brilliant to see the actual work in progress there, Hadley. Thank you. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.